Hi everyone, Kiva Century here. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today I've got another challenge lock. Um, this one was part of the three that I received from HV Logic. Um, the reason I'm making so many challenge lock videos uh, since I've come back from my break is because I'm, I'm doing a couple of uh, challenge lock trades, so I'm trying to pick as many as possible to get them out into the community. Alrighty, so this one here is by A2 and it's called Banter. Um, same as the last one I picked in the last video, December 2020, so it's pretty, pretty fresh. Um, this one here has got a mummified key, so there's no clues there at all, so that's good, I like that. Um, it's got a kick. Um, so it's got the Schlage SC1, SC4 keyway. Um, and yeah, just a kick with that, that sort of backing there. Alrighty, let's get down there and um, try to give it a pick. Let's rice it up. So the way I pick kicks is I remove my um, rubber inserts and just vice it up by the Bible. And also make sure it doesn't interfere with anything in the vice. No, that plug is real loose. That's good. Okay, so... Um, See if I can work with the down under monkey tensioner. Yes. Whoa, there's a lot of slop in that corner. <laughs> a lot of movement there. Check that out. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Swinging wildly. All right, so for Schlags, I usually use the Law Lock Lockout Buster and the B Shoe. Um, the ones with the blue, I've modified a little bit to my picking style, a little bit different than. How um, Andrew Law sent them, but um, yeah, uh, they, they just suit my picking style. All right, enough jibber jabber, and let's get down to the pick, shall we? All right, so we'll go clockwise, I guess, uh, the traditional clockwise, and um, see how it goes. Okay, in frame, all good, let's go. So let's do, I'll go the lockout buster, and if that's too much reach, I'll go back to the, the uh, B shoe. Oh, let's get comfy and uh, let's go. So nothing on one. Okay, two is by me. Two. A little bit of counter, okay. Two. Okay, no, two's good. Okay, three is by me. More counter. Almost felt like an overset that one. Sort of mushed in. Okay, three. Four is by me. Hmm. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's four. I think I was sitting on the next pin. Four is binding heavily. Okay, a little bit of counter as well. More core movement. Okay, five is. I think this is a five pinner because I can't feel anything past five. So five is binding. Okay, counter of five. Oh, well, I've counter. Okay, but that's all. It's sort of still giving me a bit more counter here than before. Hmm. Might leave that for now and see how we go. Still nothing on one. One is like nothing. Okay. Two. Okay, three's dropped. So I'll get my set back again. Okay, three again. Not sure if I'm oversetting three again. Four, nothing. Okay, it's five again. Give me a counter. Stay on the pin here. Oh. Okay. That did move, it's sort of mushed in. So it's going with the one here. I'm getting nothing off one at all. Might be a high lift, I'm having trouble getting under it. Okay, two. Two, nothing. 
okay, three, maybe you can do it, okay, three, four, yeah, something fishy about five here. Whoa, okay, default set now. So I think that was five sitting there. Oh, just hit one. So, okay, one is giving me counter now. Yeah, it's a bit hard to get to. Okay, I'm sure I stay on the pin. Is that it? Is that it set? No, he still wants to give me counter. Okay, it's two. Okay. Wow, nice snap there. Okay, touch one again. It felt like it's in the belly of the spool. So it just nicked it. And it went to that false set. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting one here. <laughs> Let's try the B shoe and work off this top ledge up here, maybe. And to get to one. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's one. Okay, and we got an open. Alrighty, sweet. That was nice. Very interactive pick, same as the last one. Very nice, fun picks. So as you can see, that is an open. Um, I'm not going to lock it back up because the key's mummified really nicely. I don't want to mess with it. Um, I'll pass it on that to the next person. Uh, I'll get my Schlage back thing remover, whatever, from Sparrows, the denied follower. So we'll hold that. Make sure don't close it. Oh, that does not want to fit in there. Huh. Oh, yeah, I'm closing that up. Um, let's go old school, eh? <laughs> oh, that's got a strong spring in that pin. Very strong. Whoa. It's got super spring in there. Jeez, could take a while, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> a really strong spring. Oh, wow, this is so awkward. Okay, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, these can be a real pain in the bum sometimes, eh? off okay. oh and it's gone 180 jeez oh the last one had a warning don't go past 90 okay there we go can you pin show there we go let's go move that pin some sort of super spring behind it oh looks like a usual spring but Oh, that's a very strong spring in there. Don't know if that's a stock spring or not, but it's a very, very powerful spring. You can probably hear in the background that my son's way woken up grumpy from his from his midday nap. So follower, here we go. I don't know, I don't know. Let's go home on it. Yeah, so it is a five pinner, so it's a six pin call with oh interesting. With five pins. So that's how it had to be picked. So it's got some nice bidding on that key. So like one's a high lift and two, three, four, just a little bit, and then five. That was that funny pin I couldn't work out. Um, yeah, all right. Back down here, let's dump these key pins out. Some nice custom pins. Probably like the last one, all custom. Oh yeah, nice work on these ones. Very nice, they too. Uh, no mods to the core that I can see. Um, looks like the uh, chambers have been sort of. Uh, I don't know, try and like my brain for the name now. Uh, chamfered sort of thing. Um, like with a larger drill bit sort of deal. Um, I know some locks do come like that, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure about the shaves. 
All right, shim out and let's go upstairs. Okay, we've got a lovely spool, or teepenny spool in one. Serrated spool in two. These are very nice pins. These are all custom made. They're not um, production pins or store bought pins. Also, I'm screwing so far. That number five drive is beautiful. It's like a sort of a pagoda. I've got a different spring in five. Like a pagoda shaped. Um, Deal. That's a really nice pin. Might have to borrow that idea. <laughs> uh, spring. So it looks like the only different spring was on five, which has got very light tension, which might explain why I had a bit of trouble with it. Just it felt really, really weird. Uh, no mods to the Bible either. Core. So I'll get a box and I'll give you guys a close-up of these beautiful, beautiful pins. Right. Cool. Okay, get some focus going on. Just one tiny bit. There we go. Check them out. Um, get the pointer. You can see key pin one, it's got like a deep serration in it. Um, number two, it's like a double spool, uh, nice thin lip on top and one in the middle. Uh, sort of the same on number three, but um, yeah, it's not as deep on the top. It's like a sort of mushroom effect there. Um, number four, it's like a spool, um, it's got a few different diameters to catch on. Uh, number five, it's got one right down the bottom there, check that out. I haven't seen that before. Um, drivers, so here we go, we've got a, uh, like a, like a, I don't know what to call that, like a spool, but it's sort of, um, looks like more like a mushroom pin, really. That's a nice design. Um, two's got a uh, double serrated, but it's got really, really thin catchy lips on them. Um, three's like a spool. Fours are double serrated, deep serrations, catch your lip. Oh, look at this, look at this driver on um, five, that's beautiful. It's like a pagoda style, um, yeah, that's a nice idea, like a spool thing on the end. Very, very nice. And all the same springs except number five. Alrighty, that's it for me, guys, for today. That was Banter by A2. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel, go check him out. Um, yeah, he's a new, a new picker, give him some love, sub, like, you know, just uh, check it out, yeah. Anyway guys, um, I'll see you guys on the next one and uh, take care, bye.